key points it is a fraction now the first key point is a rational number a rational number is a number which is of the form p by q q should not be equivalent to zero denominator if it is zero it is undefined then what is the domain of p and q p and q are integers p and q are integers a rational number is a number which is of the form p by q q not equivalent to zero p comma q are integers root 2 by 1 that is not a rational number p should be an integer and q should be an integer suppose if i take two variables then there are two conditions that will come into the picture then there are two conditions that will come into picture p and q are co prime what do you mean by co prime there is there is no factor common there is no factor common other than one if there is no factor common other than one then hcf of p comma q is equivalent to one if numerator and denominator hcf it is one that means numerator and denominator are co prime numbers numerator and denominator are co prime numbers numerator and denominator are co prime numbers if they are co prime numbers then it is called a fraction then it is called a fraction a fraction is a rational number where numerator and denominator are co prime to each other where numerator and denominator are co prime to each other if p and q are not co prime that means there is some factor common there is some factor common there is some factor common suppose for example if q is p is a multiple of q if p is a multiple of q for example 6 by 2 6 is a multiple of 2 25 by 5 25 it is a multiple of 5 if the numerator it is a multiple of q then i will get an integer 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 for example if it is 2 by 6 2 by 6 they are not co prime make it into co prime these 1 by 3 these 1 by 3 is 1 a multiple of 3 no so it will become a fraction it will become a fraction if the numerator it is a multiple of denominator if the numerator it is a multiple of denominator then i will get an integer if numerator and denominator are co prime to each other then i will get a fraction a rational number a rational number is said to be a combination of two sets one is integer set and another is a fraction set one is an integer set and another is a fraction set another is a fraction set a fraction set will come when the numerator and denominator are co prime to each other if the numerator and denominator are not co prime to each other and the numerator is a multiple of denominator then i will get an integer then i will get an integer first point i hope it is clear now with respect to fractions the question is given now the second key point very very important key points fraction a fraction a fraction is of the form p by q a fraction is of the form p by q now three cases will arise one is p is less than q another is p equivalent to q another will be p greater than q a fraction will have numerator and denominator p less than q p equivalent to q and p greater than q p is the numerator if the numerator is less than the denominator if the numerator is less than the denominator then it is called a proper fraction then it is called a proper fraction then it is called a proper fraction if p equivalent to q i will get a one so if one is a multiple of one so i will get an integer here one is an lowest positive integer p is less than q i will get a proper fraction if p is greater than q that means numerator is greater than denominator if the numerator is greater than denominator i will get improper fraction i will get improper fraction i will get improper fraction numerator is greater than denominator 7 by 3 numerator is greater than denominator 19 by 5 numerator is greater than denominator 
थ्री बै सेवन न्यूमरेटर इज लेस दिनामेटर न्यूमरेटर इज लेस दिनामेटर फै बै नईन फै बै नईन न्यूमरेटर इज लेस दिनामेटर इट ईज ए प्रापर फ्राक्षन सो इन फ्राक्षन P numerator less than denominator, I will get a proper fraction. If the numerator is greater than denominator, I will get an improper fraction. I will get an improper fraction, proper fraction and an improper fraction. This can be further condensed to two plus one by three. That means two is an integer. One by three, it is a proper fraction. So any improper fraction can be converted into proper fraction by adding an integer 19 by 5 5 3 is our 15 3 plus 4 by 5 3 is an integer 4 by 5 it is a proper fraction 4 by 5 it is a proper fraction 4 by 5 it is a proper fraction fractions are divided into proper fraction and improper fraction proper fraction numerator less than denominator improper fraction numerator greater than denominator second key point i hope it is clear third key point third key point suppose if i take a proper fraction suppose if i take a proper fraction suppose if i take a proper fraction every fraction can be converted into decimals every fraction can be converted into decimals for example 1 by 2 numerator is less than denominator in decimal it is 0.5 1 by 8 it is 0.125 0.125 like in fraction we got a proper fraction and improper fraction in decimals also fourth important key point there are two kinds of decimal values that can come if a fraction is converted into decimal what is that one the first one it is terminating decimal what do you mean by terminating terminal terminal it is the end point terminating that means that will end after dot the digits will end terminating decimal terminating decimal terminating means after dot the digits will end if it is not ending then it is called non terminating decimal then it is called non terminating decimal then it is called non terminating decimal terminal means it is ending non terminal means it is not ending if it is not ending if the same set of digits repeat then it is called recurring decimal that means after dot there are certain digits that we is getting repeated 0.22222 0.343434 so it is not ending 34 is coming back again 34 is coming back again 34 is coming back again the same 34 digits is getting repeated that is called a recurring decimal so if it is the same set of digits is not getting repeated then it is called non recurring decimal then it is called non recurring decimal then it is called non recurring decimal non recurring decimal now listen carefully sir the reason why i am emphasizing more on the basics is these basics most of the students do not know it they just blindly solve the questions of converting the per decimals into p by q form when will it become a recurring decimal when will it become non recurring decimal what are the conditions what will happen if the denominator is a composite number prime number prime number power k multiple prime numbers power k all these concepts we will discuss decimals so every fraction can be converted into terminating decimal every fraction can be converted into a non terminating decimal in non terminating there is a recurring decimal and there is a non recurring decimal i hope the concept is clear